Hi guys, this is Arif from TechShare. Today I'm going to install Sitecore 9.3, uh, which was released last week, I believe. And um, yeah, so I'm not sure how it's gonna uh, be inside in Sitecore 9.3. So let's explore that. So the uh, today uh, my target is to install Sitecore 9.3. And we also know that what is the prerequisite and everything for that. And then we'll also know a couple of things that Sitecore recently you know, released and we got a huge uh, kind of um, um, discussion around the world, especially for Horizon, what is Horizon. And we are also going to install that as well with Sitecore 9.3. And also we are going to configure Solar. I'm not sure about Solar, whose version it is being used, probably 8.2 or something. So let's check this out and let's just install. And in order to install Sitecore, we are going to use um, Sitecore Installation Assistant. So that's the easiest uh, tool to install Sitecore. Um, so let's do that. So I have already downloaded Sitecore 9.3 initial release from here. And I actually installed this graphical setup package for XP version. And then I also downloaded uh, uh, Sitecore Horizon 9.3 as well. So now what I'm going to do is I already have it installed. So let's go here and uh, let's try installing 9.3 first. So this is the package. So let's extract here. Okay. So now here you can see all the necessary files. So luckily we have set up the exe. I'm going to click that on and then site core installation assistant will trigger and we are going to start so it says before you begin you must have a valid site core license file and yeah so everything that is prerequisite also App Apache solar is required so let's go ahead and click this start button okay so there are a couple of things. This is very important. It says that the prerequisite thing, Sitecore installation framework and a Windows Server prerequisite. I already have installed Sitecore 9.1 and 2 in my machine. So I believe everything is already installed in my machine. So if you guys have uh, not installed before uh, Sitecore in your machine, so I, I recommend you to install that first. Otherwise, we are not going to finish successfully this installation process. So I'm going to skip for now. And I will go ahead and solar port uh, 8983. This is kind of pretty common. Probably I already have used that one. So I'm not going to use that one. Instead, I will use 9393. And uh, solar path, we need the solar path as well. So what we're going to do is Windows service and path prefix. OK, I'm not going to. OK, let's use solar. OK, let me install the solar uh, before actually download the solar. So download solar so we'll see the apache solar website there so you go there and download the solar version i would always pick the latest one so let's uh, download this one as well uh, so we are going to download the zip file so let's download this one okay so solar 83 on okay so Let's download that. So the size is around 180 MB. So I'll come back when uh, it finished the download. Okay. Okay, my solar uh, download uh, process has finished. So let's go ahead and um, okay. So this is my this is my folder where I have the horizon. I already uh, unzip the Cycle 9.3 and also I have the license file as well. So this solar, let's go and extract uh, this solar inside C drive. So that is uh, something people always used to use uh, this path. So solar 831, okay? So I'm going to extract in C drive, okay? So it's always better to check the path one more time so let's go 83 on and see here so this is kind of doubling so what i'm gonna do is 
I'll copy, cut everything, paste it here. And I'm gonna remove this folder from here as well. Okay, so now we already have this SIF as Sidecore Installation Assistant, SIA. So I'm going to browse the solar path here. So C drive, and we have this solar 831 path. Okay. And uh, uh, solar service record install. Then install complete this section below and click install. Okay, so maybe we need to provide this Windows service and path prefix. Okay, so let's do solar. 8.3.1 so that would be my service name of this solar fair enough so install that and my port would be that on 9393 which is going to take a bit time and uh, probably four or five minutes or so okay so i can see there is a problem so let's open the log file and see what is going on Okay, so here you go. Let's open this one in Notepad and see. Okay, so this is the solar log. This is important sometimes when you install. It says that site construction framework with version 2.2.2 was not loaded because no valid module was found. Okay, so what we did before is we skipped one of the process, prerequisite process. So as I told before that I already have installed um, site core 9.1 or 9.2, 9.2, sorry. So that won't be enough actually. So what I need to do now is to start from the beginning and I also need to install the prerequisite as well. So for that, so what I'm going to do is I will start from the from the beginning again. So let's go ahead and click this install assistant again. Start and then what I'm going to do, I actually install first this one. Sometimes, you know, it is challenging sometimes to install Sitecore. Every time I found that, yeah, there are some sort of uh, challenges along the way, especially when we have SIF um, only mean, I mean, there was no sidecore installation assistant before that time. It was really, really challenging. So what you need to needed to do is just to use uh, PowerShell to execute. And sometimes you're going to find that there are a lot of things missing or sometimes you need to do from the beginning, this kind of thing. So now it is quite easy because we have the installer. So you can see here installing part, installing part three of four means three gone successful. So this is a good sign that uh, hopefully prerequisite will be successful. If not, then there is the other problem we need to deal. Okay, so it's downloading something. Hmm. Okay, so we can see now installing part four of four. So this is the very last step for for prerequisite installation. Actually, I'll come back when the prerequisite, prerequisite installation will be finished. Okay. Okay, so the prerequisite has uh, installed successfully and it took me around 10 to 15 minutes. So it's a kind of a long time but it's okay let's click next now and then i'm gonna select the solar this time so 
this is my solar egg 3 1 and the solar 8.3.1 that would be my service name and my port would be 9393 let's do this and try installing this time solar and see how it goes okay so you can see here it is now installing without any warnings or errors so I'm hopeful that probably this time our solar will be installed successfully. So solar actually what it is doing is I believe it is actually creating all the necessary indexes that site code requires because solar really doesn't need to install anything because it is kind of a, a standalone uh, thing. You don't need to even install. So yeah, I mean, it is actually just uh, doing the necessary prerequisite index and everything that site code requires for 9.3. Okay, so it's also downloading something, um, some necessary files or packages from from Solar Server. Okay, so Solar has installed successfully. Now I'm gonna press next, and now this time Sitecore. Uh, admin password and site code installation prefix okay so let's let's do xp 92 uh, sorry 93 and admin password i always use b and license file so i already have a license file i'm not sure whether it is gonna working with this version or not but let's try so back of 93 license hit next okay SQL Server password. Um, yeah. So my SQL Server password is uh, okay. Let me grab it here somewhere. Mm. Sorry for that. Uh, here. Okay, so this is my SQL SA password. And then if you see here, all the configuration is like this. Solar would be 9393. And uh, my Windows Solar service would be that one. Solar 831811. Okay, so I believe they are using 811. So maybe I'm gonna remove this one from here. Okay, so okay, so it's saying please select optional cycle modules to add during installation cycle experience accelerator. Okay, let's see, select this one as well because I actually heard a lot about SXA. And uh, yeah, probably I'll create another video to uh, do the basic introduction of a uh, cycle acceleration framework in a separate uh, um, video okay so let, let's go ahead and click next and then finally so you have uh, configured all of the things it's already validated successfully so let's press this installation button okay so it's, there are two parts of the installation number one and number two so i will come back um, when it finished and if I find any problem during the installation then I will also come back and I will show you guys how I fix that uh, but I am pretty sure that I'm not going to uh, face any problem during the installation you already see that installation is already in progress but it has 92 steps so probably gonna take a couple of minutes or maybe 10 or 15 minutes so I'm not sure about that but um, yeah probably probably see how many uh, how many minutes it's gonna take because it's already 16 steps completed Yeah, uh, so I'll come back once uh, it finished. Okay. Okay, so this is my SQL SA password. And then if you see here, all the configuration is like this. Solar would be 9393. 
and uh, my Windows Solar service would be that one. Solar 831811. Okay, so I believe they are using 811. So maybe I'm gonna remove this one from here. Okay, so okay, so it's saying please select optional sidecar modules to add during installation sidecar experience accelerator. Okay, let's see, select this one as well because I actually heard a lot about SXA. And uh, yeah, probably I'll create another video to uh, do the basic introduction of uh, sidecar acceleration framework in a separate uh, um, video. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and click next. And then finally, so you have uh, configured all of the things. It's already validated successfully. So let's press this installation button. Okay, so it's, there are two parts of the installation, number one and number two. So I'll come back um when it finished and if i find any problem during the installation then i will also come back and i will show you guys how i fix that uh, but i am pretty sure that i'm not going to uh, face any problem during the installation you already see the installation is already in progress but it has 92 steps so probably gonna take a couple of minutes or maybe 10 or 15 minutes so i'm not sure about that but um yeah probably probably see how many uh, how many minutes it's gonna take because it's already 16 steps completed Yeah, uh, so I'll come back once uh, it finished. Okay. Okay, so the installation has successful. So I did not see any error or anything. It just took around 20 or 25 minutes um, to install all the steps and everything. Okay, so let's uh, click next and yeah that's all so if i now if i if i now click launch site core then probably you are gonna see our instance is running xp83 xp93 sc developer okay awesome so before that what i'm gonna do is i'm going to uh, use my solar and see how many indexes are already there uh, that's being installed by site core itself so we use 9393. Okay, so you can see here the solar is opening up and the version um, solar specification, it says 0811. And um, okay, so core admin, let's go there and check it out. So you can see here all the indexes that we're gonna site core is required uh, with, with, with the applications. So you can see here this web index as well as this um oh okay so i also installed sxa module so for that uh, site could also use separate index and then you have the master index and all the marketing since we installed xp experience platform so all the analytics and marketing um experience tools automatically be part of this um, version so you're going to have all the other things as well so yeah so that's all so here what i can do admin and my password was b by default that i use always so let's go inside and see uh, so yeah so you can see here this is kind of the very uh, common uh, look and feel that we normally have in sidecore all site core 8 sorry 9.3 um and i will cover a couple of uh, articles on site core 9.3 and um how can we create custom solar index and how we use the um the new feature that site core um uh, brought with this uh, 9.3 everything i'm going to share maybe in the next video because this video is already uh, quite big so see you next time bye bye and have a good day